Looking for cheap and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to u4gm.com, Madden NFL 21 coins, and use code SPORTS for 5% off your order. What's up guys, Duke back here from sportsgamers.com. In today's Madden 20 tip, I'm going to show you an easy one play touchdown that you guys can do every single time when you see someone's playing cover three on defense. This is super effective and it will get people out of cover three very fast. So before we get into this breakdown, I just want to remind you guys to please subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying my content. I upload Madden 21 videos daily from tips to gameplay, so smash that subscribe button and also turn your notifications on. That way when our videos go live, you won't miss out. And you know, hit that like button too. It do really does help me out a lot to be able to continue to do these videos for you guys. Now also, if you're looking to get better at Madden 21, check out sportsgamers.com. Whether you're looking for offensive or defensive help, we have eBooks and we have the Madden Vault membership where we put four to six tips up every single week to keep you guys updated on all the latest and greatest tactics you know, in the game. If something's effective, we show you how to do it, how to counter it. We keep you up to date all year long. Now, I can promise you, if you like the free content we post on YouTube, you will love our premium members-only content on sportsgamers.com. So all that said, let's get into this play. But like I said, guys, we're in the Carolina book on offense. We're going to look at this gun bunch offset. I really love this formation. Actually, I might do a full scheme on it. But in my mind, it has one of the best one-play touchdowns in the game because the cover three beater is very, very easy. It's very consistent. But what's really good about it is this play has other reads too. Like It has some good routes that you can use to attack any defense out there in case they cover your one-play touchdown, whether with their user or just with, you know, changing up the coverage a bit. So, we're going to just put our fastest receiver on the outside in the bunch. You can see I have rugs there on the Raiders. You know, that's our best bet. If you look at their receivers in the depth chart, you'll see, you know, he's got that 98 speed. We do have someone with 96, but he's a 55 overall, so I don't really want to put him there. Um, also, your quarterback, you do need for these long, uh, you know, one-play touchdown type beaters, you do need some throw power. Um honestly like the the most throw power you can get i'd go for it as much as you can get don't hold back but you know you know 91 car not amazing but it can get the job done like i said this is a pretty easy one to execute so you don't need anything too crazy anyways the play we're gonna look at is the pa dig fork uh anytime you're running one of these beaters you do need to make sure that your bunch is on the wide side because the the route we're going to use to attack cover three is this little post by rugs. Um, and you want the post going to the short side, not the wide side. So since the bunch is on the wide side, the post is going the opposite way, therefore to the short side, which is what we want. The reason for this is it just makes it quicker. It happens quicker. The route opens up quicker because it doesn't have to run across as much field uh, because it's going to the short side. And that, that helps us out many ways. First of all, it's a lot harder for block shed to get in there and mess us up. Uh, you know, guys just come free. It's just quicker developing, which is always easier for us. So setup's pretty simple. Um, we're gonna block the running back. I like to put my tight end on a flat route, and I like to put the outside left receiver on a smart right uh, out route. <clears throat> so what's so good about this play is we have many reads here. First of all, the post is gonna be the one play touchdown. That's what I'll show you guys first. But most importantly, I have a flat corner which is a super effective route combo this year. Um, I really like that a lot, and I'll explain to you guys why I like it so much in a second here. But let's focus on Ruggs route first. So you guys are going to see how easy that really is. I mean, I can do that all day long. Now, really, you want to be able to turn that upfield and rat catch it. Um, so I'm going to show you guys that here in a second. I'm going to do it one more time. So we're going to do this one more time. Hopefully this time we'll be able to turn it upfield and get the touchdown. Um, like I said, even if you can't score, if you can't rat catch, you will at least get a quick you know, big chunk over the middle of the field. But really what we're looking for is that one play touchdown like this right here. So I'll take a look here. You guys can see, I'm gonna go over to replay and explain to you what happened. Basically that smart routed out route that's on the left side of the screen, it holds the corner on that side of the field. So he can't, you know, he can't continue in his drop, right? So look at this, see how the out route holds his corner? That's the guy in the deep zone, right? So because of this, as soon as we see this, we know that the safety is out of position. Like, So we can just lead it up and to the sideline. So like up and to the left, right into here. So I kind of lead it, if you're picturing your analog stick as a clock, probably leading this at like 10 to 11 o'clock. And I just click on 
and I go for the rack catch. And like I said, even if you can't rack catch it perfectly, you're going to have a big game. But if you can rack catch it, you can just turn it up and you can score just like I did here. So if you, you want to get a view of the quarterback actually when I'm throwing the ball here, um, you guys can see that as soon as I'm starting to see that that corner is playing the out route and then my post is getting underneath or, you know, it's got the angle on the safety, it's at that point that I'm throwing it. And like right here, we're going to be able to easily, you guys can see, Turn up field for that easy one play score against this cover three right here. So guys, I want to show this post route one more time. And this time I want to get outside the pocket. So one thing you'll notice is that I've kind of stayed in the pocket. Maybe I've slid around a little bit. But if you guys got a mobile quarterback that you can get outside and throw it on the run like that, it really gives you the best angle to get rid of this ball. Because when you're outside of the pocket scrambling and you can kind of square your shoulders up and throw it on the run, you know, that just gives you a way better angle to lead it upfield so that you don't get the pass led too close out of bounds. You guys can see here, basically I'm scrambling to the, you know, the side I'm throwing the post to the left. And before I throw the ball, instead of just running from side to side, I turn forward, like I press up on the analog stick to square my shoulders. Then I release it just like this. And, you know, it's, it's going to make a difference when you guys throw it like this because you're going to make sure that you get that animation where you're throwing it on the money. And as you guys can see here, because of this, I'm just able to lead it upfield way more easier. So now, like, when I catch the ball, you guys can see, I'm nowhere near close to the sideline, so I'm able to get that in there easily for a touchdown. Now, what I was saying, though, is this, this play is just not all about the one-play touchdown. That's why I like this play so much is, I mean, you do have other things you can do. The flat and the corner route are the main other read. But as you guys know in this year's game, the flats are really, really effective. So, like, if I see that you're not guarding the flats. I can just throw that in there to the tight end every single time. And what makes this really good is that I have a corner route to the slot receiver too. So like if you're going to play the flat, I can hit the corner route, right? It's not that hard. But as you guys can see here, this simple flat picks up great yardage. Turn up field, that's an easy 10 plus yards. And that's with no zone drops. You know, if people are going to play zone drops to try to take away your deeper routes, the flats are going to be even more open. And, uh, you know, like at the same time, if they do, like let's say that they do start to play hard flats to take away your actual flat route, you know, this slot receiver that's on the corner route, he's going to be effective. I'm just going to roll out here, and, and it's a dot, man. It's a true dot. This corner route on this play is actually really, really good. If you look at the play art, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rugs out of the way. Look at the play art on this corner route. That's not your typical corner route, guys. It, the way it breaks is, is different than most. And I've just noticed that it really does a good job of beating all the coverages out there. It's one of my favorite stock corner routes in the entire game. Like I said, this is one of my favorite stock corner routes in the game. Deep zones really stand no chance. If you're going to play hard flats to take away my little flat route, I'm going to throw that corner out all day long on you. It is so, 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 so effective at getting underneath deep zones. You're going to have to use your zone drops to take it away because if you just stick back with your deep zone, it's going to get underneath it all day long. And like I said, you don't really have to roll out. You can, but it's just a super easy dot on the sideline. Back in this because the rollout passing game is still really effective this year. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this tip. Like I said, in my opinion, one of the easiest, most effective ways to beat cover three in this year's game. Until next time, it's Duke, and I'm out of here.